Hi guys, it's Amy here, and today we're going to be looking at submitting a Turnitin assignment. So I'm just going to open up my folder with the Turnitin assignments in it, and what I can see from here is the due date uh, and any other kind of information that have, has been provided to me by my lecturer, so uploading a PDF has been provided. So I'm just going to click on the title, and again I can see my details here, due date, how many days that is, and whether or not I've already opened it or launched it before. I'm just down at the bottom, I'm going to choose launch. Once Turnitin is launched, what I can do from here is I can drop this down to see any further instructions. If there's a rubric included, I can view the rubric, how many points, when am I going to get feedback, due date, start date, all that kind of stuff is available in here. But the most important part is this big blue button, upload my submission. So I'm going to choose this as an option. And what I should now see is different ways to upload. So the first one is choosing from my computer. So if it's saved on my desktop, I can find it from here. However, if it's saved somewhere in my OneDrive, I might need to use cloud submission and choose OneDrive. The other option is just typing in text. Um, so I can either type text or paste it into here if I need to. In many cases, you're more likely to be using the cloud submission with OneDrive or the upload submission and browsing for a file. Once you've selected your file, choose upload and review. This will just take a few moments to load, but what it will do is it will show you the file so you can review it and check that it's the correct file. You can even preview su the submission or s submit to turn it in. Once it's complete, you'll get this nice little green tick and you'll be able to see your paper, the time you uploaded it, and you'll soon get a similarity score available here followed by your grade once your lecturer marks this. Once your lecturer has marked your work, if you come back to the Turnitin assignment and click on the title again, we'll be able to launch. And what we can now see is we can see a grade and we can see our similarity score. And what I'll do is I'll click onto the grade number and this will open up a new window um, which will have my Turnitin assignment with all of my comments and uh, grading notes available here. So as I go through, I can see all of the comments and grading notes. There will be comment bubbles, which I can click on to find out more, and other comments through my document. I can see overall feedback, and I can also view my rubric as well. So this will open up in a pop-up window for you. So if your lecturer has used a rubric to score, it will be available under the View Rubric button, and you'll be able to see the scores you achieved in your rubric. There we go, I can see the scores now. And if there were any comments added, I would see them here as well. So I can close down the rubric. That's how I get my feedback. If I need to download this, I can use this download button here and I can download this paper with all of the comments available and feedback too. And that's how we can submit our Turnitin assignment and view our feedback. 